Oh, there is a plane flying overhead, as noisy as can be. Oh my god, guys, I just got home and there is a package at the front door. <laughs> it's big and it's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I had to put my Maccas down so that I could hold my camera. Well, phone, whatever. So it looks like my box suffered some abuse in transit. It's got some stuff leaking out the side of it, but I'm sure everything inside will be just fine. Let's do it! <laughs> my box is completely destroyed! No wonder it was having a hard time. Look what they did to you! Oh my lord! <laughs> Look what happened to the bottom of my box! Oh my gosh! Such abuse. That wasn't me. That This is how it came. God, postal service, what are you doing? <laughs> so as you saw, the box was <laughs> busted, but I've put all of the stuff together in a stack that seems, I don't know, I don't know how it came out of the box. I don't know what order it came out of the box because the box kind of fell apart. So we're just gonna work through the stack I've got here from top to bottom, starting with this nice little note. <laughs> Welcome to your Archer and Olive subscription box. We're so excited to bring you this month's goodies. Flip this card over to have a look at all the exciting new products inside. Now, yes, it does say ethereal dessert. I believe that is supposed to be desert considering the theme of the box. But I admit, ethereal dessert sounds delicious. Having read through these, and I'm not gonna share them with you just yet because I'm literally just about to show you what all of this stuff is. So we have a $32 item, a $35 item, a $45 item, a $12, a $15, another $12, a $22 and an $11. I can't do that maths in my head. That is $184 worth of value in this box, and there is some very pretty stuff. Let's have a look. Casual sound change, because I'm now using my proper microphone, but as we were. So we have the little card for the ethereal dessert, which we've done looking at. And then we're on to the actual goodies. Like I said, we're just going to work from the top down, so starting with the one that we can all see. We have this ethereal dessert. Oh my god, I'm going to keep saying it. We have this ethereal desert pin. It has two pins in the back. It's a nice heavy weight, very cute. So you see we've got this little cactus design with the little kind of leafy elements, typical a and stuff, which is gorgeous. I think I'm gonna put this on my pencil case. We have a four pack of decorative washi tape, so 15 millimeter each, we'll get those out and break the box in the process because that's how I live my life. Ooh, cute. Alrighty, so this one here, you can see it's got some moths and some dragonflies. Got that kind of little shiny element to it, little snake. Oof, that looks like the Slither design from their Slither notebook. We've got this little desert scape here with your little cacti, little like sand dunes. Ooh, we got this one. This one's actually really cute. So this one's another foiled washi tape. You can see it's got its little leaf designs. We've got some little cacti, little different types of cacti. And for this one, we've got some little colored stripes in that desert color palette that the box has. Again, with some foiling on it. Put you back into your little box. Up next, we have something a little new. So a set of three binder clips. Aw, so cute. So each of these has a different design on it. Personal favorite, purple, gorgeous, with the little stars and the little moons. We have one in that kind of tan brown color with the little leaf designs and then we've got the blue one here which has the same kind of design as that moth and dragonfly washi tape Alrighty, where to next i have no idea what's in here <laughs> oh cute little sticky note tabs oh they're so pretty and they've got the little designs down the side Cute color palette. Archer and Olive sticky notes. Cute little sticky tabs. Going for that whole top down approach, next we have our acrylographs. So I'm pretty sure that every subscription box comes with a set of five, and those five are in the color palette of the subscription box. Oof, 
So of course we have some beautiful colors here. Let's have a look. So all of these are the 0.7 millimeter tip. We've got a really nice kind of navy-ish blue. We've got a darker purple, kind of orange red color, a nice kind of slightly darker subdued pink, and then a kind of yellowish color. I'm not gonna swatch these here. I'm gonna probably end up swatching them in my, you know, long-term collections journal. But, ooh, that purple and that blue. Ooh, they're so pretty. Put those guys back in their box. Make sure they're all sitting forward so they all kind of fit would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Reseal. I have other things to show people. Dang it. Thank you. Gosh, oh my lord. <sighs> this is why I don't store my acrylographs in the boxes they come in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Up next we have a ruler stencil. Alrighty, let's get this one out and actually see what kind of shapes we're dealing with here. Ooh, nice thick plastic. Alrighty, it's a, it's a lot sturdier than I thought it was going to be. So we have some straight lines, eight of those. We've got some straight horizontal lines, eight of those. Some little boxes. I believe this is a one centimeter box and that's one centimeter by some centimeters. Let's check. One by five. Yep. Yeah. Then we've got a little rounded corner box up here, which is a four by two centimeter box. It does actually have a ruler edge down the side here. That you can see we've got some little semicircles, which are cute. Little sun, little moon, little star, square circle. Those could come in handy for like check boxes or something. I imagine that these ones would be pretty good for if you were like setting up a habit tracker or something like that. And you just need to rule a bunch of lines all at once. So rather than like rule, move the ruler, rule, move the ruler, just be like lay down the template. Choo, 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 choo. Put that one back into his house. Onto the big things, I guess you could say. So as you can see, the first one we have here is a journal cover. I believe this is probably for the A5 size. So you just slip your journal in the side here. It's got a pen loop. It's got a nice little clasp around the side but this stitching on the front is so pretty. Okay, so mine's folded along here. It probably needs to be pushed in to fold along there so that it would actually wrap around the journal properly. I think for storing in the subscription box, it was just like lays flat. But ugh, look at all those little stitches. Aren't they so cute? And I think this is just kind of like a nice alternative to the other covers that they already have that are more like flexi gel kind of covers. This one feels a bit more sturdy and I think it's a bit more akin to the kind of journal covers that I'm used to. Really pretty colors. On the back, it's just plain. You can see mine's got a little dent here because the clasp was sitting like this, but over time that'll pop out, so all good. And now we have an A5 craft sketchbook. So we'll open it up and have a look at what the paper's like. You can see mine got a little bit battered in terms of the box during transit, but it, it happens. Ooh, time for the big reveal. What does the cover look like? Dun dun. Oh my God, purple. I love purple so much. Okay, purple's my favorite color. I didn't think it was purple from the picture. I thought it was like dark brown, but oh, that's so pretty. Look at the little mountains. So this is a craft sketchbook with blank pages. So open it up and show you. <laughs> purple, I love purple. Alrighty, so it's got that vegan leather cover, which I mean, vegan leather, isn't that just plastic? But it doesn't have a fabric cover, which is kind of nice. I can get this off. I don't want to rip the back of it. I don't like to rip the back of these things. I like to slip them on and off where I can. Ugh. There we go. So you can see the little mountains and the little stars and the little moon. Of course, we have the pen loop and then just blank craft pages. Oh, what a beautiful sketchbook. Ooh, look at the ribbon. Such a beautiful color of purple. As I said, I love purple so much. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. 
<laughs> I can't get that back on, so it's just gonna stay there. I do also just love how every time you get like a subscription box or like something special, so like the Valentine's Day box or whatever, the um, front of the notebook covers or like notebook boxes matches the theme. I always think that's kind of cute. So this guy down here, so not a journal, this one's actually a notepad. And it's kind of a special notepad. Lid comes off. And for the big reveal. More paper! <laughs> Bam! Oh, look at that green! So, green's my second favorite color. <laughs> So it isn't just green though, as you can see from the side here, we do have three colors of paper. So we've got this nice kind of emeraldish green color, we've got this really pretty blue, and then we've got the craft paper in the back. And all of those are dot grid, and I'm pretty sure it's an A5 size? Yep, A5 special edition notepad. At this stage, I am totally not sure what I am going to do with this, but I absolutely love the idea of having more dot grid paper in different colors. I'm like thinking of what themes I could use this with. <laughs> so pretty! Everything's so pretty! So as a recap, we saw the enamel pin, we had the decorative washi tape, the binder clips, we had the little tab sticky notes, the acrylograph pens in the color palette for the box, we had the journal cover, the ruler stencil, a craft paper sketchbook, and then a special edition notepad. I don't usually do unboxings, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I am really excited to play around with the stuff that came in this one. I think that all of the things are really, really pretty. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with some of them just yet, but I am sure I will find something. Question of the day for you guys, which one of the items do you think was your favorite? Which one would you be the most likely to use? And I'd also like to know who of you does get the subscription box. I think it's a really cool way to trial new products for Archer and Olive, and I am excited to get into these things. Oh, the purple of the notebook is so pretty! Anyway, thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time, bye!